channel it's your girl Olua Kemi at Desola and in today's video we're going to be I'm going to be doing something very very different very new which I might also not try to do again depending on you guys' response depending on you guys response to this particular video so this video is going to be a nollywood movie review a yoruba movie specifically so short story when i started my channel i decided that i wasn't going to be doing reviews because personally i am a very very thorough critic but this particular movie before i decided to do a review on it i have asked about five people to watch the same movie and let me know like five people i trust i kind of trust their judgment when it comes to movies and music and all of that i ask them to watch it and let me know without telling them my own thoughts about it i ask them to watch it and let me know what they actually think about the movie so this movie like i said is a nollywood movie it's a yoruba movie and you can find it on netflix the title is alakada reloaded the event planner so this movie is a movie by Tony abraham some people might know her as Tony aimaku yes aka world best so before i i before i um discuss my thoughts about that movie i want to ask first how did um mrs Tony abraham come about that nickname world best that's one two world best in what exactly i don't know maybe after this whole this whole review of mine and maybe when you go and see a couple of our movies you will probably find it because i didn't find why people call our world best so like i said the title of the movie is alakada reloaded the event planner so here are a few things that i find wrong with that movie so the first thing is that i couldn't i couldn't pick out one person that acted so well that brought out the whole acting thing nobody acted properly everybody was just like nonchalant in, in short let me just say it was a whole lot of bad acting from everybody including mrs toy herself her acting was so bad though i have never seen her as a great actress i've never seen her as a proper actress for me she just overdo things a whole lot so i have actually never seen her as a great actress but this movie going on netflix i expected more i expected so much more from the whole cast of the movie number two thing i felt wrong with the movie was that maybe it was just me maybe it was just me i didn't find a concrete storyline um i didn't i probably didn't understand it but honestly i didn't find a concrete storyline i didn't gain anything that there, there was no lesson to be learned in the movie i didn't learn anything i just watched it number three is that this movie was meant to be a comedy and honestly this movie did not make me laugh not even for once because i did not find any sin funny in this movie i know as nigerians you people might say maybe my problems are bigger than the jokes or whatever in the movie but honestly i want you guys to watch this movie and come back and tell me one particular scene that is funny that's number three number four the cast everybody was lazy i felt like everybody was lazy nobody was really acting because movies are supposed to be make-believes right but I didn't believe anything. I didn't find anything worth believing or whatever. I didn't I didn't do that. Now, still on the cast, okay. Now the only positive thing, the only good thing I'm going to commend Mrs. Tony Abraham for, because she's the producer of the movie, is that the effort she put into this movie to put the whole cast together because i must commend her it's not easy to bring davido swanky stephanie adere noku anto um um coco chloe who's shaggy babawande timini 
MC Lively, and a host of others. It is not easy. I must commend her for that. It's not easy to bring everybody together to act a movie. So that's the one good thing about the movie. So now, the, uh, the bad thing about the movie was that the whole cast was also not necessary. I said it. It was also not necessary because there were so many irrelevant scenes. There were so many irrelevant conversations. There was there were so many distractions. Everybody was overdoing. I found some scenes in this movie so cringy. Like I watched it and I was like, Ew. like y'all don't really need to do this. And you know, overall watching the movie, I felt like there was no script. I felt like everybody just came on board and everybody was just like, and you know, like while on set they were like, okay, you do this, you do this, okay, you do this, like. People, the, 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 the actors and actresses, they did not get scripts. They didn't have something to act. They, I just found the whole movie empty, you know? And I felt like she brought the whole cast and crew together to sell the movie. Like people with big names, people that are popular, people that um, the audience want to see on their screens. Yeah. So overall, this movie was terrible yes i said that this movie was terrible but i am not going to spoil like spoiler market and like tell you guys not to watch it you guys should search it on netflix this title is alakada um the event planner that's the latest one i think there are three of it so that brings me to another thing entirely especially in the yoruba movie industry there are movies that um that um was released way back like five six seven years ago that everybody vibed with like everybody loved it because it was funny it was star studded there were like so many lessons to be learned like everybody everybody really really loved those movies so now i think because of money or something you guys um the producers are trying to bring this movie this movies back with sequels something reloaded something repackaged something the these days this when it is actually not needed we liked it then but now we have evolved we are more exposed we like know much more about acting and movies and all of this and you guys are giving us dead storylines you're just you're just like um, making us glued to our screens with the stars that you people put in these movies which is actually not needed for example this movie i'm talking about ala karada reloaded it does not need to be reloaded we are okay with the first one even the second one was actually not even needed because that one also there were just so many stars in it there were just so many celebrities in it there was no storyline there was nothing it wasn't even funny and everybody's acting was terrible we need movies with great actresses we need movies that the actors and actresses can actually portray who they are supposed to properly Movies are supposed to be make-believes. We're not just supposed to sit in front of our screens because we want to see one celebrity acting or something. It's not supposed to be so. You people have to start respecting us because I watched that movie and I was like, these producers, these actors, these actresses, they don't even rate us. Like, they believe if they give us anything, we're going to we're going to sit and watch because of the old um, Nigerian supporting Nigerian thing you people have to put effort you guys have to put effort into these things like you don't expect us because oh it's on netflix is going to be great not all movies on netflix are great and netflix are going to accept these movies because it's generating revenue for them because actually um most of this most of these producers most of these directors they have fans they have audiences so people are definitely going to watch and when this Alakada Reloaded came out, this event planner movie, when it came out, I heard it's it generated about 500 something something million at the box office. Yes, I, I don't doubt that because people want to know what happened. People want to know what, um, what the movie was all about. So it didn't generate that money because it was so great. It generated the money because people wanted to see okay what next what did she do in this one what did she do here that was different from the last one <clears throat> so that's why people watched i'm not going to deceive you guys this movie was terrible no lesson it wasn't realistic everybody there was no great acting everybody acted bad swanky swanky was in the movie and Swanky was acting like he was literally forced to come and feature in that movie. 
like it was just so lazy it was just like ah uh, like there was no effort from anybody everybody was just acting like yeah i just want to be on screen i want people to see that i'm in a movie blah 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 it's not fair on us really you people have to give us some credit you have to rate us all these things it just doesn't make sense so like i said i will not spoil my kid you guys should go on netflix and watch this movie and come back to the comment section to let me know what you guys think about the movie and also you can suggest in the comment section what movie you want me to watch and come give a review on i'm always going to be honest if a movie is great i'm going to tell you it's great if it's not nice i'm going to tell you it's not nice that's just me i'm going to be blunt about it so guys that's all for today i am so sorry to world best fans i know if you guys stumble on this video you are going to come to bite my face off i am so sorry but yeah our role models needs to do better they need to do better because this is not cutting it for me and a host of others so um till i come your way again don't forget to like this video don't forget to leave a comment don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel i really don't know what you're waiting for at this point so click that button right now like right now i'm going to give you three seconds to click on that subscribe button so in three two one I'm sure you've clicked on the subscribe button till i come your way again i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye